Yeah, I don't know if this camera is going to try to play me, but it is what it is. Hi, how are you? How are you guys doing? Welcome to my video. I'm going to be filming a Q&A. Uh, and here's my good old buddy, Abby. Say hi, Abby. Hi. Abby is my pup. She's going to be 12 this year. Somebody asked me if I had a pet, and I do have a dog. She's going to be 12 this year. I got her volunteering at an animal clinic. So many years ago um i don't remember what year but i got her in 2010 so i got her when she was a puppy she lost her eye in like a tragic accident we don't know if it was abuse or what it was just not a situation where she should have been in but luckily she's with me now and she has known nothing but being spoiled in love for the last 12 years so there you go i'm gonna go put her down because she's gonna be like mm, get me out of here I turn off the light so we can be a little bit more romantic in front of my ring light, but we'll see how it turns out. Um, so I'm gonna go over. I'm pretty sure I have dog hair now, but I'm gonna go over my questions that the besties sent in. Um, why are you everyone's favorite makeup bestie? I think it's because I love, 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 love talking about makeup. Like, ask me anything you want. I love to answer it and I love asking questions because I'm very nosy but I'm also like if I see something and I know you love it and I feel like you're gonna think that I love it then I need to know why I'm gonna love it like I just need a lot of information so I ask a lot of questions because you know makeup is expensive so we like to get our bang for our buck here so that's why I'm everybody's favorite I'm also very honest and real when I talk about makeup like if you're gonna spend your harder money on it or you're scrapping up here and there just to buy that one thing like let's make it worth your time my favorite dessert and zodiac sign if I believe in that um I don't know much about zodiac I just know that I'm a Sagittarius my birthday is December 6th I know it's a f fire sign right um and I also know that we are the best <laughs> Oh my gosh, I feel like my hair or something freaked me out. Um, my favorite dessert. Oh, my favorite dessert. Probably a pie from, yeah, Pie Bar in Seattle, Washington. It's a very specific pie, but I have not been able to track down a pie just like that place. So, yeah, I think about that place nightly. And I don't even like cake or pie like that. Like, that was an extraordinary pie for me to be like, I want it. What are my favorite pizza toppings? Pepperoni and extra cheese. Sometimes when I try to be healthy, I throw some green peppers <laughs> in there. You know, vegetable it up. With unlimited funds and no worry of getting sick. Thank you for saying that. Where would you be right now? So I have two places. Bora Bora. Like, I want to go to the place where Kim K lost her earring. Okay? That crystal clear, pristine, whatever water. Um, I want to experience that. And, like, the little, like, huts on the water. And then they kind of, like, bring you... I feel like I have dog hair on me. They bring you the food, like, in boats. I want to experience that. I also know it's, like, how expensive. Um, and then the other part of me is always, like, Disney World always Disney World Disney till I say um let's see my favorite brand so I remember when I first started doing makeup it was like Tarte I really like Tarte um and then it kind of like fizzled out for me right now I want to say maybe like the brands that I get excited for when they put out stuff is or are Color Pop and Huda Beauty. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with that. How long have you lived in New York City? Favorite least fa favorite and least favorite thing about the city. I was born and raised in New York, so 34 years here. Very happy about it. I don't think I've ever moved out of New York, but I don't know. I just feel like other places are boring. Like. Maybe my favorite thing is that you can get 
anything pretty much at any time in New York. Like, especially food. I've gone to, like, vacation where I'm trying to get, like, a snack or something sweet or I don't know what. And it's, like, 9 o'clock. And it's sometimes hard to get something at that time. I don't know why. I don't know for what reason. But in New York, like, that's not an issue. Um, my least favorite thing about the city has to be the crime that's happening right, like, right now. The, the subway is not your friend. I commend everybody that takes the subway right now because I'm, like, I guess, like, anxiety just thinking about it. Um, I think my least favorite thing is also, like, the, would it count if I say, like, the reputation that we give or that we have where people are just, like, New Yorkers are rude or, like, ruthless or they don't care or they're so mean? No, that's not us. Like, we're very, like, straightforward and whatever. Like, I think we've just seen so much crap that we're just, like, the BS is, like, rah, 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 we don't want to deal with it. So, we're, it's, like, very straightforward. I feel like that's us. But, you know, I love my city. I love my city so much, especially with the way that they handle the pandemic. I love my city, okay? Um, let's move on because I got a little too passionate. Do I have babies? No, that's a big N. Oh, no. I do have an almost five-year-old niece, um, Adele, and she is um, on my page sometimes. She does my makeup a lot. She loves makeup. Just like her Titi. Um, if you're watching this, hi Adele. Hi, how are you? I love you. Um, but yeah, she's on my page and sometimes people think she's mine. Because she's just so darn cute, but she's not. She's not. I had nothing to do with that. Um, but yes. And then also shout out to my new baby niece, Cora. Literally like three years old. Hi Cora, if you're watching. <laughs> but no, I do not have children. Um, at what age did you begin using makeup? <sighs> I want to say I wore makeup probably 10 times for the first, like, 30 years of my life. Um, okay, maybe that's a lie. But I started watching, I remember, like, tutorials on YouTube and stuff like that when they were, like, big. Um, like, maybe around, like, 2013, 2014. And I had, like, maybe, like, five or six makeup products at that time. I remember one of them was, like, the Kat Von D back in the day, KVD now, the shade and light palette, um, like the contour powder, like palette or whatever, um, and I thought that was amazing because I was like, oh my god, this is high end, this is like a stuff, no, I don't even think it was in Sephora back in the day, but it was like high end, all this stuff, whatever, maybe it wasn't Sephora, um, and I had like two Stila palettes, eyeshadow palettes, which I never, ever used, ever, 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 I have not changed. Um, but it was like a purple palette and like a blue palette and they were like, like this kind of like size. Um, it was like a collection that they had like back in the day or whatever. But I remember I had like a few different things, like no foundation, no concealer. I don't even think I had lipsticks. But I remember I would like see people talk about these things and it was just like the most amazing thing. And I just loved learning how people like apply their makeup and all that stuff. I watched, which I still follow her now, Shannon. I think Shannon Harris but um she's Shan XO on um, YouTube and she's like pregnant now and she's having a baby so it's kind of like nice to see like where I've seen her like grow pretty much she also has her old bread now XO beauty Whew. of course I would yawn during this I apologize I apologize if I like gave it to you my bad um oh okay so let me fast forward I started watching tutorials I always get carried away mm, like that's just me um and then i want to say i started maybe dabbling in makeup 2016 um yeah and i started from there like doing it like more consistently and like being brave and like literally at 11 p.m in the night just like playing with makeup on my like in front of my mirror just doing it myself just to like see like what's this all about but it was like a nice stress reliever like it still is now um but I just feel like I just got much better at it and it's brought more friends into my life. So it's pretty cool. Uh, Desert Island makeup. Five things you would want in your makeup bag. Does SPF count? Right? SPF counts? Um, so I would take the Paula Choice, Paula's Choice Youth. Oh my God, I like Blue Bottle. Youth Fluid something? Whatever. That's one. 
Um, I would definitely take a foundation with me. But one that I can kind of rely on, one that I haven't like, tried in a really long time, is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Foundation. Whew, I haven't tried that baby in a while, but I know I love it. Um, concealer would definitely be Shape Tape, for sure. Um, mascara, because uh, you always gotta wear mascara. Benefit Bad Girl Bang. And then it has to be a red lipstick. You know what? I'll take the Makeup by Mario Alicia lipstick. Right? Okay. I don't need to be, I don't, it doesn't need to be long lasting. I ain't doing nothing on this desert island. So, okay. I got my five. What is your favorite food? Salvadorian food and pizza. Yes. Salvadorian food, more specifically, pupusas. But I only like the revuelta stuff I like is like usually chicharrón con queso and frijoles. Um, my bad, I'm not speaking English. Um, so it's pretty much pupusas are like stuffed, thick tortillas. Um, and they're really good. So if you haven't tried it, like, you need to, you must go try it. Especially if you've never heard of it, never tried it, like, go out and find a place that makes them. Hopefully it's a Salvadorian person that makes it and then they're, like, authentic. Um, so I usually eat them with just beans and cheese, and then they have, like, another option, which is called revuelta, which is, like, mixed, pretty much, and it's, um, also adds, like, the chicharron, which is the pork, but I just like beans and cheese, that's pretty much me, I feel like both, it's, a, like, boats and hose, beans and cheese, <laughs> I'm an idiot, um, and then another thing, which is, like, my absolute favorite thing from, like, Salvadorian food is... Tamales de lote with like crema. That's that's it. That's it for me, dog. That's it. Um, why are you blessed with such clear skin? Thank you. Thank you so much. I mean, uh, my texture is being emphasized with the skin tint that I'm wearing, which is the Huda glowish one. And I also have like some breakouts, but thank you so much. Um, I have good days, I have bad days, but for the most part, like I don't really have like acne prone skin. Um, I just have like super huge pores. I call them big sisters because these pores, like they are in the way. They're annoying. Like big sisters are. You didn't hear that from me. Uh, my favorite eyeshadow formula. I think I have to say Huda Beauty because I just know I can rely on it. Huda Beauty for sure. I'm trying to think of what else. Like high end. No. Like ColourPop I like. It's reliable. But it's not like the best. Natasha Denona is good too. But like. Tampoco así. Huda Beauty. Huda Beauty. Favorite Disney movie. Frozen. Next question. Uh, top three movies. So my top all-time favorite movie is Live Free or Die Hard or Live Free Die Hard whatever um that Bruce Willis movie like the last installment I want to say actually I remember whatever Live Free Die Hard the one where it's him and Justin Long I think that's his name um I like the one a lot that is my favorite one I can recite lines from that one that's how many times I've seen it. Uh, my second is probably <laughs> another Die Hard movie, which is the uh, Die Hard with a Vengeance. I'm pretty sure it's the one with um, Samuel L. Jackson. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Like, there's a part in the movie, if you haven't seen it, then, like, close your ears. But is it a part in the movie where... They're like, well, who's the 21st president? And the guy in the truck, whatever, is like, Chester A. Arthur. And he's like, how'd you know that? Whatever. So they kind of, like, got a clue revealed that way. Or, like, they got a an answer revealed that way. And then also the part where they try to get the four gallons. <sighs> like, my dumb ass still don't. It still does not figure out. Like, how, maybe I need a visual. But it was like they have a three gallon and a five gallon. And they're trying to get exactly four gallons. And I don't think I paid enough attention during that part of the movie to actually be like. Oh. Or maybe I have and I'm just like, I just don't get it. 
but they have to somehow find exactly four gallons worth of liquid in order to like open up something or like stop something or whatever. I was just like, I still don't get it. Anyways, whatever. Moving on. Oh shoot, that was two. And then three. Oh. Yeah. My third one would be the Beauty and the Beast live action remake. Madame Gaston. Can't you just see it? Madame Gaston. His little wife. Ugh. I just love it so much. How does a moment last forever? How can a story never die? It is love we must hold on to. Never easy. Damn, I forgot the lyrics. Um... What was your happiest moment this year so far? <laughs> you ready for this one? When I quit my toxic ass job. So I left my job where I was for six years on January 7th. It was the best day of my life. I felt sad leaving my actual friends and co-workers that I loved working with. But the people in my department, whoo, honey, honey. They were toxic. Um, I just thought it was hilarious that they all decided to stop talking to me. Me. Can you believe this? Uh, me. After I left. Which I was like, you know what? As cocky as this may sound, but sometimes you're just like placed in people's lives to bless them because they all got paid better because of me. I literally paved the way for all of them to make way more money than what we were all making before. Um, so, you're welcome. You're very welcome. I have no problem helping you. Because that's what I was meant to do. You're welcome. I'm just out here blessing lives, y'all. Blessing lives. What do I do for work? So I work in the benefits field. Right now, technically, I'm in total rewards. So it's a combination of benefits, compensation, and also performance. And then I work very closely with Workday. Uh, so Workday is an HR information system. Um, it's pretty common for you to have like Workday as your place where you have like personal information, um, your elections for like medical dental vision, any ancillary benefits, stuff like that. Um, we kind of use Workday for like fancy stuff. So like Workday would generate offer letters to like people. Um, it's like literally like a hub for everything, information for the firm. So it's pretty neat. Um, I learned some stuff on the back end to help with like benefit events or like people trying to make any changes in Workday and I absolutely love, 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 love that stuff. Um, so that's like the most exciting part of my job. Like I love learning technical stuff. It's very appealing to me. Like Excel, I love Excel, learning formulas and stuff like that. I literally love audits. That's the type of person that I am. But yeah, benefits in general are just like when you start at a firm and you have to sign up for like medical dental vision and you don't understand like what's a deductible or a copay or whatever, I'm the person that will walk you through it. So, HR's little sister. <laughs> Still part of the, you know, people team, as uh, especially at my job, but, well, that's what I do. <sighs> Top five makeup products, specific like brand and type. <sighs> Top five. So I'm going to go with like the most recent favorites. Because I named some favorites with the Desert Island. So let me just like throw some other stuff out there. Oh, the most recent like favorite foundation that I found uh, that I tried was the, I have it right here. The Makeup Forever HD Skin. This was so good. I had a video where I tried it like first impression and everything on my face. And it was just it's so pretty it's just like it's literally your skin but better like whatever they were promoting the hype was real um five crap the new liquid lipsticks which i'm wearing the shade bombshell from huda beauty they're like eight hour wear transfer proof that line the red from there super comfortable i mean all of them are um but i have to have a red lipstick in my life so well more than one like a thousand red lipsticks. Um, but that red lipstick from that one, I think it's called Miss America. 
That one's a governor. Um, another red lipstick that I tried <laughs> was the original recipe liquid lip, liquid lip from Gwen Stefani's line, uh, Give Beauty. So that's a that's a third one. Um, top five favorite makeup products. <sighs> Specific to brand and type. Oh, this is hard. My favorite mascara of all time has to be the um, Benefit Bad Got Bang. That has to be it. Um, but another one, just for sake of mentioning another one, because I mentioned that one before, the Desert Island is Tarte Man Eater Mascara. Okay, so that's four. Dare I name just another red lipstick? No, I don't think so. Another, what, what, let me just think about. Ooh, okay. The recent fave is a Rare Beauty, Rare Beauty Cream Bronzer. Which I was trying to get it back up during the Sephora sale and it sold out pretty quick. But damn it. I should have known. That's pretty good. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so my favorite lipstick formula. I think my favorite one recently has to be the Huda Beauty one. It's super comfortable. And it does like stay on pretty good. I mean, if you eat, it does like, it does like budge and stuff, but it's pretty good. I just love that it's so comfortable and it's like non dry. Again, this is the shade Bombshell. Um, for bullet lipstick, maybe Charlotte Tilbury. Those are really comfortable too. Um, I also want to make an honorable mention for another liquid lip, and that's the Kylie Cosmetics Velvet Formula. That one's really good. Obviously, like not non, no, not transfer proof, but it's like super comfortable too. Um, and like when she rebranded and did all that stuff or whatever reformulated the velvet one was even more comfortable Favorite place on earth Disney Disney World Has to be Disney World Disney World over Disneyland for me because Disney World is just way more magical and that's where we go It's, it's the most magical place on earth. I love it so much and I cry I literally cry every time I go because I'm just so happy I'm there The last time I went which was in January I uh, held out and then we were there for the fireworks and then I just bawled. Bawled like a baby because I felt like so special. And I had just quit my job so I was just so happy. Um, and like so stress free. So it was a very, a very nice, it's a nice moment in my life. <gasps> what do you wish to be your final meal? The hell kind of question is that? It would have to be has to include a tamal de lote. Has to. A slice of pepperoni pizza with extra cheese. And then, like a nice eight ounce filet mignon with it. And then I know like chimichurri sauce only goes with like skirt steak and sauce, but like, you know, just add a little bit. Just add a little bit on there. Why not? Spice it up. Um. For like a drink has to be a margarita and then a glass of sparkling water it gotta be a complete meal and then I'll just be the snack <laughs> why am I like this what is your favorite color pink pink is my favorite color my absolute favorite color I kind of wish I could have everything pink, but then I feel like that's a little too weird. So I'm not that obsessed with it, but, like, if I have the option between, like, two things, it's always going to be pink. Um, last weekend, I was paying, playing with a pink cro croquet croquet ball. Yeah. My boyfriend already knew. He was like, do you want? And I was like, yes. The pink one. Um, we've also done mini golf with, like, two shades of pink balls. <laughs> like, I just love pink. My favorite palette, favorite foundation. Okay, so I named two already, right? Let me name a third one. Do I have a skin tint that I like? Yes, the L'Oreal Hyaluronic Acid Skin Tint. That one is very good. Uh, my favorite palette. Did I mention the Rose Quartz? I think I did mention the Rose Quartz. I don't think so, but it's the Rose Quartz. <laughs> It's just so pretty and it's an unexpected favorite of mine. So that's why I'm like, I like it. I like it a lot. Let's see. Oh my God, I think that's it. That went by really fast. Although, 
were like 24 minutes in, so I wasn't that fast because again, I'm a chat and cat. I really thought I was gonna like lightning round, speed fire, or whatever the hell it is, like through these, but no, of course not. I forever do not shut up uh, like I'm doing now. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a good one. I hope you learned a little bit more about me. Um, if the opportunity arises, I'll do another Q&A. Uh, just so you don't talk about more stuff. <laughs> Especially me. Hello, my first subject.